to the D A N C E. One, two, three, four, fight. Stick to the B E A T. Get ready to ignite. Yo, 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 what's up, peeps? So the last video I told you three stories and I asked you to guess which one was the lie. Four people got the answer right! And those four people were... Chaos Boy 13 Captain Bad Monkey Oratory Freaks ColecoFail My Neck Just Snapped Okay, so the lie was I did not pee into a laundry basket. Which means the other two stories were true. My brother really did find a ball of hair, a huge ball of hair in his french fries. Which was really, really gross. And, even more, my brother really did have this weird phase where he pooped in the yard. And he pooped on the driveway. Poop. So that brings us to today's topic. There's a lot more stories where that came from. <laughs> so without further ado, epic poop stories. Yeah. So the next story was when one of my brothers was a lot younger and he was in that stage of trying to learn how to use the toilet. What happened was I was babysitting and when my brother went to the bathroom, I guess when he went to use the toilet, he wasn't lined up with the hole. He was lined up with the seat part. Why was I talking like that? Seat part. He was lined up to the seat part. So you could imagine my surprise when I walked into that room. It wasn't just smeared on the seat. I just walked in and I was like, what is this? There's poop all over the seat. There's poop. On the mirror, there's poop all over the counter, there's poop all in the sink. What happened? Yeah, it got all over him him and all over his hands and you know. When I when I found him afterwards, he was kind of messy too. It's not fun cleaning up that day. The next story was told to me by my roommate. My roommate's friend threw this little party. And there was a lot of people there, you know. But there was this one girl who was really, really, really drunk, I guess. And so they got let her pass out in one of the guest beds. So Buddy gets up early in the morning, goes to the bathroom. And he finds a bunch of crap all over the floor. Basically, that really, really drunk girl didn't really make it to the toilet. So the guy was grossed out, obviously, but he, but he kind of understood. She made a mistake, couldn't make it. But he started walking towards the guest room and noticed there was a trail of this stuff all the way to the bedroom. And when he got to the bed, it was covered in crap. Like, sheets, and it stunk, obviously. Gross. But I guess when he went to the room, he found the window open. Which means when she kind of crapped all over their house, she kind of got him embarrassed and jumped out the window and the funny thing about this I thought this would be the most embarrassing story ever and hopefully they wouldn't have to cross paths anymore apparently she forgot her purse there so she had to go the next day how awkward would that be the next story was told to me by one of my relatives actually so this is a really really long time back but I guess he was in the bathroom, you know, mind his own business, in one of those public stalls. And one other kid thought it would be funny. He starts spraying him over the stall by putting his thumb over the, you know, water faucet and spraying him while he's trying to take a dump in the stall. So of course this pissed him off. He's like, listen buddy, if you keep doing that, you'll be sorry. But he keeps hearing the guy snickering, there's still water going over there, he's like, Hey buddy, I mean it, you're gonna be really, really sorry if you keep doing that. So, little jokester outside is still squirting him with the water. So what does he do? REVENGE! He grabs right into the toilet, takes out one of his own turds, and pelts the kid with it, making him run away crying. 
basically said, well, my hands were all crappy, so it kind of sucked, but I got the guy back, right? 